Hey folks, have here a rifle from Daniel Defense. It is part of their hunting line, the ambush line. A lot of you have seen this pop up in some of my other videos. It's the Ambush 6.8. It comes with this five round magazine from PRI. Great magazine. This is an excellent rifle. I love shooting it. Shoots great. It's accurate. My search for a good deer rifle came a few years ago. I've been using a Remington R25, which I love, and I love the 308. But when you load it down with stuff, it gets a bit heavy. And when you're sitting up in a tree stand on a small platform or even on a, a ground blind, it can get a, a little bit big and bulky to maneuver around inside the stand. So I really wanted something in an AR-15 platform. And I was kind of looking around at different calibers. I really like the, the 30 caliber Remington uh, AR round, the 30 RAR, but couldn't find it anywhere. And I've heard good things about it, but to me, you know, since you know I can't find it anywhere, it doesn't do any good, and it kind of looked like it was going to fizzle. So, kind of ruled that out. The 6.8 looked like it was going to have the most available cartridge as far as what's on store shelves. So I looked at that. First I looked at this, the Ambush. Thought it was a great looking rifle, but they didn't have it on the market yet. So I had to wait a while and finally got this last year and it's been outstanding. I've taken a deer hunt, I took a deer hunting last year and didn't get anything. And I have taken it hog hunting down to Texas, and I did get a hog with it. And I take it to the range pretty frequently. It's, uh, like I said, it's an outstanding rifle. It's, as I said, 6.8 Remington SPC. Weight on this is 6 pounds. Length with the collapsed stock is 31.25 inches. Extended is 34.8 um, has a 16 inch hammer forged barrel. It's a mid length gas system and it's available in 1 in 10 or 1 in 11 twist. And it also has a threaded barrel, which I like. I will eventually someday possibly purchase a suppressor. It has a 5 8 by 24 TPI thread. Some of the things uh, that are a little bit different than a lot of the other. ARs on the market. First and foremost, as you notice, it has the uh, shotgun inspired hand grip, which I like. It's very comfortable. It has a texture underneath it, and it's great when you have gloves on during the winter, which of course is when I do most of my hunting. It's, been, it's, it's got a great grip. I really like it. It allows you to index your hand and grab the rifle in a good spot every time. It also has the modular Picatinny rails on it. You can move these around. I like that they don't run the length of the tube. That can beat your hands up quite a bit. And I like they have them in the ends right where you need them. Um, that's all you need. And But if you want, you can move them around. You can adjust them, do whatever. It has a monolithic rail on top, which I like. I actually mounted a really high power scope on this and I had to mount it forward. Half of the scope was on this receiver and half was in front and having uh, the long rail was a, a good factor in, in keeping that accuracy um, of that scope. It does have a free floating hand grip and it extends 12 inches so it it's, protects the barrel. has a Magpul MOE adjustable stock. It comes in three different colors. Uh, first, it comes in black. has Mossy Oak Breakup, which this is, and Infinity Realtree AP. I really like the camo pattern on this, and it actually seems to be pretty durable. 
I haven't had any chipping or anything yet. Seems to be on there pretty well. It also has a Giselle super automatic SSA trigger and has 4.5 pound pull weight which and uh, 2.5 pounds on the first stage and 2 pounds on the second stage. So it's got a really good trigger. Got to turn it off first, of course. It's got a nice clean break to it, nice and crisp. Love it. It's also got the uh, Bravo Company Gunfighter charging handle. So one charge, one hand charging, which I like. And I've also put a Magpul clip on this. It didn't come with this. I, I put it on here for a the one piece sling. I like that. Everything else on here is fairly standard. It's got uh, standard grips. Internally, it's all the same. I'm not going to take it apart. You guys have seen that a million times on different ARs. The MS MSRP on this rifle is $1,759. It is a 6.8 Spec 2 chambering. It's also available in 300 Blackout and 5.56, and you can also purchase upper receivers by themselves and I believe those are around 1200 I have got the best group with this in a 90 grain bullet it really likes the 90 grain bullet that pretty much seems to be its sweet point and I have shot Silver State Armory I have shot Wilson and I have shot the new Federal MSR ammo out of this and it shot all of them well but as I said from what I have seen it seems to prefer a 90 to 90 grain bullet I have had a minor issue with this or actually it wasn't a minor issue but it's something that's easy to fix I've had chambering issues with this on, on some of the uh, some of the different brands it, the bolt is not cycling all the way and it's a chambering issue and what I have found a really easy fix is to get some ISO uh, scrubbing uh, gel or, or paste or whatever you call it and put it on a bore brush and really clean out that bore really take it to it now I don't know if it's some kind of coating that's on the inside I'm not sure and it's it's not just this ambush rifle I have also I had the same issue with my Rock River Arms rifle not sure what causes it, what the issue is, uh, but it's very easy to fix. So, you know, and I would even recommend when you first get your rifle, grab some of this paste and really ream out that bore. And this, you know, and, and it could be something that maybe even they've addressed this issue by now. Like I said, I got this a year ago. Overall, I think this Ambush 6.8 is an outstanding rifle. I really like it, and I would really recommend it. If you have any questions, let me know. Semper Fi. targets from today and we've got three different things going here uh, four different groups excuse me five different groups let me explain but I am shooting the ambush arms 6.8 SPC I have the Konus Pro M30 scope and I'm shooting Wilson combat ammo and this one here is the let me focus here 110 grain boat tail hollow point so, all right, these right here, this is sight-in stuff here. This is me sighting in the scope. My first group is here. This is the first group I had. I had two good shots and then kind of had a flyer. My next group was this one here, kind of a bad group. Third group here, uh, not too bad. And then this is my 
fourth and final group on this page, and this is a real good group here. This one here I felt good and came out good on paper. This here is my final group, and this is a five shot group. And by the way, this is all at 100 yards. So it's not very far, but uh, this is my final group.